You talk about your depression like it's, it's very in your, it's very biological and that it's in your DNA. Do you consider it to be in some extent also related to your personality or your past or something else? Uh, clearly I have it in my genes and then I came, I was born into a maniacs who didn't know that nobody knew they had mental illness. So put those two together and you've got dynamite. Can you fill us in about your uh, parents who were living in uh, oh Austria? Oh my God. Here you are. <gasps> oh my God. What? Well, no, because, you know, they were normal then, maybe, maybe. But this, is, this is before the war started? Yeah. And then they, they left Austria in 39? Yeah. And they were lucky. They were the last ones to get out. They were the last to leave the building, yeah. Uh, Did your father, that's amazing to me, he, he left Austria on skis? Oh, no, he tried to ski into Switzerland at one point, but so did a lot of other people. So there was a big um, pileup on the mountain. Of Jewish people with Jewish people skis. in skis. They can't ski. So <laughs> they ca caught them all, and they put, it, you know, they put it in his passport. But then he snuck into the Mexican embassy. And while they, it was like, you know, everybody had to think fast. He took a stamp and stamped that out. And then he scuttled, you know, like a rat, through Europe to get out. It was really like a pinball game. And, and what about his up. wife, your mom? My what mom is... looked like a, uh, a German. Yeah. So she got on the train and the Nazis stood up to let her sleep. That's the Aryan dream. So her, her looks got her through. And, and then, I mean, you say this family was uh, uh, Maniacs. terrible. Maniacs. Yeah, they took the war and they created it in our kitchen. <laughs> and they played kind of volleyball with my brain. And... Uh, How? What happened? Oh, I mean, they, they were... They were like Scud missiles. They would undermine me all the time. My mother would keep saying I was an idiot. And my father would say, look at you, you're as big as a house. Who's going to marry you? But, you know, they, they, my mother was a maniac. You know, she, would, she was always cleaning. Of course, nobody knew that on all fours, like a pool cleaner. And then her voice was like, who brings filth into a building? You know, so that was like her normal voice. It was, that was her saying, have a nice day. Mm. So this is a woman who would chase a dust ball for maybe two weeks to get that sucker. And, um, but nobody knew it was depression. Did you bring friends in the house? Or? In the beginning, mm. but then you'd see these scenes, you know, of, of mania. So, um, I, you know, I was popular, but it, I turned it into comedy. And so people invited me over because I could turn that wildness into some of the great monologues. If I didn't have a, I always say with my background, I would have been a comedian or a serial killer. <laughs> Seriously, I would have been. But I had this way of making it funny. And so it was like getting rid of the devil. Did they ever say anything nice to you or uh, give you a compliment? Um, they were real proud of me behind my back. My dad would show articles. But then, when I was in the Royal Shakespeare Company, he'd go, what's with you? Your teeth were so shiny. <laughs> now, I mean, it's, it's genius. Once mm. I got in a TV show, he said, I called NBC, like the desk. They never heard of you. <laughs> oh, that's depression at 16. Mm -hmm. There's what it looks like, but nobody knew. Look at uh, that. Many, many kids who have uh, some kind of upbringing like you have are waiting for the compliment of, in the end, of the parents. Hopefully, in the end, they will say something that is very positive. That's about too them. late, though. But have you been trying to get anything positive out of your parents, or did you know this I is a lost I was trying case? to be successful so they'd be proud. Right. You know, I'm sure that drove me. Mm -hmm. um, in the end, just before my dad died, he said, I love you, and then died. It was, it's at the end this, of my... These are his last words? Yeah, and he was in a coma, and it was Valentine's Day. He'd been in a coma for five years. And just before he died, it, he was flatlined. He said, I love you, and then died. I couldn't make that up. You could not make that up. So, um, and, you know, it, it's... The, the war is won. So, you know, I feel like it was a battle. And it did damage, you know. I did get depression. But they also gave me the, see, you get filled with this chemical, I, I could tell you which one, that gives you that drive, and it got me where I am. But it's exactly the same chemical that can burn your system right. out. I'm still thinking about this last line of your dad. Was it good enough to repair all the damages they had done before? No, but, I, um, but eventually you do work, you have to work on it. I, you know, I eventually, my system would go down when I think of them. 
when I think of them, now I feel pity that mm -hmm. nobody um, said, oh, in the very end, they took my, my dad was already, he, had a, he was in a coma. They took my mother. I said, no, no, we're going because of daddy. She'd go, what's wrong with me? You're the maniac. That's where it gets bad when women in the audience used to say, did I pass this to my kid? I say, if you're sensitive enough to ask me that, you didn't. So my mother would always say, I was a maniac. So we were trying to get her controlled because she was setting the building on fire and writing checks for $10,000 to the window cleaner. So um, they took her to the psychiatrist and um, psychiatrist says, Mrs. Wax, Mrs. Wax, it's not here for you. We just want to get your husband cleared out. He said, could you just tell me how old you are? And she went, she was smoking her pen because she forgot she smoked cigarettes. She went, I may be off by a few years. 53. And so uh, the doctor said, your mother isn't an accurate historian. So he, this is what, I'm, they gave us Prozac or whatever, and they mashed it into her food. And when I went to visit again five years later, she was the most popular woman in that thing. She was adorable. And I think if they had done that 80 years earlier, what would happen here? She was adorable.